So Competitor Group uh, is specializes in endurance events, and our definition of, en of, en of endurance is running, triathlon, and cycling. So our most well-known property is the Rock and Roll Marathon Series. We've been doing it since 1998. First event was in San Diego, debuted at over 15,000 runners for a marathon only, the biggest debut marathon ever. Since then, we've grown quite substantially. We have 25 Rock and Roll Marathons in North America, and we now have six Rock and Roll Marathons over in Europe. And we, in addition to the Rock and Roll Marathon series, we have a triathlon series called Tri-Rock Series. We have a women's only half marathon series with 5Ks. We also do a series of 5Ks with the NFL that finish on the 50 yard line in NFL stadiums. And we have an adventure series called Muddy Buddy, which is obstacle racing in a mud pit. I think our biggest challenge is just getting everybody on board with the same vision. Um, endurance events, just by the nature of what they are, are you know, difficult events to put on because you're closing down roads, you're you know, interrupting people's daily lives. Um, it's impactful to the community, both the residential community and the business community. And so you really need to have a vision from a tourism bureau and then city officials to make it happen and to work together to have it be a very seamless experience, a really great experience, not just for the people that are coming into town, the tourists and people staying in the hotels, but for the people who live in that city every single day. So there's just a lot of communication that needs to happen with various government agencies and everybody just needs to be aligned and communicate well to make sure that things come together well. The endurance business is really interesting because it's definitely been growing. It's kind of been going through another running boom, we like to say, and there's been several versions of that through the years. But over the last five years, with competitor groups growth, we've also noticed that the entire industry has been growing. For us, it's a good thing because we're trying to generate grassroots demand in running. And a lot of these themed runs, we call them unruns because they're really not about running as much as they are, just about social and about people getting together and having a good time. But for us, it's getting people off the couch, getting them active, and potentially creating new runners that will eventually step up to do rock and roll half marathons or perhaps even a marathon. So it's good for the industry. Um, I think the big thing at these types of conferences, when I'm talking to CVBs and sports commissions, is truly understanding if they're looking to drive out of town stays and looking to drive room nights, which a lot of them are, kind of differentiating between all these different properties that are out there. And it can be really confusing because there's so many different types of runs out there. So for them, they need to really understand what it is they're, they're going after and what it is that's going to help them drive their mission forward.